What's up, team? It is Testimony Tuesday. Hey, do you like testimonies? Mm -hmm. I love testimonies. Testimonies are encouraging, testimonies strengthen you. Yes. And like Babe say, they give the devil the black eye. That's right. So I want to share this salvation testimony with y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it. Be encouraged, be strengthened in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, and by the way, if you desire to share your testimony with us, please send your testimonies to teammosesvlogs at gmail.com. Make sure your video is landscape, not portrait. That's portrait. This is landscape. Just turn right. the phone sideways. Turn your phone sideways. <laughs> oh, maybe that's just too technical. Turn your phone sideways. All right. We love y'all. Check out this testimony. Alright, there was this job that I had. You know, this job, I didn't really go to break. I would, well, I went to break. I wouldn't go to the break room. Because on the, on break, I would spend my time just digging in the Word of God. And I'm being honest with you, I couldn't wait to break time because the Lord would be just filling me with so much revelation. And because I'd be meditating the whole time I'm working and he'd be opening up the scriptures to me. And I couldn't wait to get back on break to go back and, and further and go, further dig into what he, he was showing me. The Bible says a wise man will hear and increase learning. So I would just get in the word on break and I wouldn't go in the break room. I wouldn't go in the canteen. If I went in there, it was to buy a soda or something, to buy some juice or something. Then I go back out on the floor. It was a factory where they made carpet and stuff. I would go back on the floor, get in my word. This one particular day on break time, I was in my word. And I'm just sitting there reading and, and enjoying Jesus. Enjoying Jesus and... Everybody was on break, and now break is about over. It's almost over. And this girl, this new girl, she had just started that day. She had just started that day, and as she was coming off break, she had to pass me. Her machine was way down the way. My machine was up front as soon as you enter into this huge room. My machine was up front, so I'm sitting down reading, and as she was passing me, she stopped. And I don't, I, I can't recall what she said, but she made a dirty, filthy joke. It had something to do with sex. And so at that time, y'all, I was real raw. Let me tell you, I was real raw. Now I learned how to work things a little bit better, but I was real raw. If somebody cursed around me, I'd be like, I'm saved. They said, if they curse around me, I shut them down. I shut them down. But God taught me something. And now I don't shut them down. Not that I want to hear profanity, but I've learned if you keep on telling people, don't do this around me, don't do that around me, don't do this, they ain't going to want to be around you. Then how are you going to win them to the Lord? Come on. And that's for you. That's for. Let me leave that alone. But I'll leave it with that. If you keep telling people, don't do this around me, don't do that around me. Sooner or later, they're not going to want to come around you. And that's the truth. And I'm not saying that you should stand for anything or let anything go. Sometimes people will respect you enough not to do certain things around you. But I don't want to go off too far into that. Anyway, when she made her dirty joke, I just looked up at her. I just looked at her. I'm like, look at this devil. And I'm not talking about, I wasn't talking about the girl. I'm like, the devil. She made her dirty joke. I looked up at her. I just gave her a look. I ain't, I ain't say one word. It seemed like I was looking at her for five minutes like. Y'all know how I be giving that look. I gave her that look. But anyway, that gave her that look. She stopped. She bust out laughing. She bust out laughing. Then she said, I'm not laughing. I'm dead serious. Like, I ain't say nothing. I ain't know what to say. And I'm glad I ain't saying that because I probably would have said something to really push her away from Jesus, push her off, turn her off. But anyway, she laughed and she walked back down the way to her machine. I'm getting back in my word. I'm, I'm in my word. I'm reading. I'm enjoying Jesus again. 
Now, the girl is coming back. She coming back my way. Now I'm like, what is she coming back for? She got another dirty joke. She wanna, she wanna tell. But it turns out the Holy Ghost convicted her before she got to her machine. She walked way down the way. This, this is a huge building. She walked way down the way to her machine, and the Holy Ghost convicted her before she got to her machine. And she came back and she said to me, I just want to apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. And blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I forgive you. And guess what, y'all? I saw that as a door. I saw that as a door. What the enemy meant for evil, God turned around for good. I saw that as a door and I went in. Now, let me tell you something about me. I'm not the type of person to beat people in the head with the word. I believe you gotta use wisdom. You gotta use wisdom. And that way you don't you don't turn them off because nobody wants to hear their lifestyle is wrong. Come on, nobody wants to hear that. Every a, a, a man's ways is right in his own eyes. All his ways are right in his own eyes. But anyway, I um I invited her to church. Yeah, I used that as an opportunity. I accepted her apology and I invited her to church. And she told me she would come. We was having holy convocation the next week at church, Monday through Monday to Friday. And she came. She came, the service was good. I still remember, I still recall who was preaching. I still recall who was preaching that day because it was the only time I ever heard him preach. And um, he was preaching and she gave her life to the Lord. They gave an altar call and she was the only person that gave their life to the Lord. It's a holiness church that I was going to. She gave her life to the Lord. Nobody else got saved that week. It's like God set this whole thing up. Now I ain't saying God made her come to me and tell me nothing dirty, but God used what the enemy was doing and turned it around. And she went up there, they gave the altar call. Nobody pushed her, they didn't tell her to get saved. You gotta get saved, you gotta get saved. No, she went up there y'all on her own and gave her life to the Lord. And another point I wanna to make to y'all, imagine what would have happened had I laughed at her dirty joke. Because there are a lot of saints on jobs, and I'm about to end this because I done told y'all the testimony, but there's a lot of saints on jobs laughing at dirty jokes because I seen it with my own eyes. Had I laughed at her joke, she would have never gave her life to the Lord. This whole thing would have changed. Had I been sitting there reading the Bible, she made a joke and I, ha, 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 ha. This whole thing would have changed. But she came back because the enemy didn't find, he found no place in me. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. That's why she came back. That's why she came back. Because the enemy couldn't make me laugh. He couldn't get me to do evil. He couldn't get me to go against God. But anyway, I just wanted to share that testimony with y'all. But I just thank God. She gave her life to the Lord. Amen.